All right, folks, I'm going to hit you with some last minute predictions for the Royal Rumble, including a news update that surprised me earlier today, or at least it could be news depending on how you see it. So earlier this week, I reported that as of Tuesday, Nia Jax was booked to win the Royal Rumble. And now I'm being told that plan may have changed and that Asuka may win the Royal Rumble. I don't really know what to tell you because every year they always change their minds on these things up until the day of the show. So it's one of those things where it's hard to really predict anything. My prediction for the winner of the Rumble, I'm going to go with Nia Jax, even though I could be wrong on that. And as of right now, the talk, or at least the rumor, is that the female Rumble's going to actually close the show. I hope that's not the case because I feel like Nia Jax winning is a little bit underwhelming. If Ronda Rousey does show up, which she's not going to go into because she's in Columbia right now, um, or Columbus, it's Columbus, Ohio she's at. If Ronda was winning, I kind of get it. But if she's not winning and it's going to be Nia Jax or even Asuka, it is a bit underwhelming. So my prediction is I'm going to go with Nia Jax, but I don't think it's going to close the show. So that's my prediction. But again, it, it could be Asuka. Either way, the plan for WrestleMania still is Asuka versus Charlotte and Nia Jax versus Alexa. Asuka winning makes more sense, though, because then she can challenge for the Charlotte title on SmackDown. So that actually makes more sense with Asuka winning. So interesting change of plans. As far as the male Royal Rumble... Somebody told me, but not very confidently, that Nakamura was going to win this thing. So it's going to be an all-Japanese victory this year. Um, I don't know if that's really going to be the case, but it makes sense that they go with Nakamura and AJ at WrestleMania. Surprising, too, considering that Nakamura hasn't really been booked that strongly, but he has been booked stronger than a lot of guys. So I'm going to go ahead and, and, and agree with that pick, and I'm going to go with Nakamura here. Now, as far as some of the other matches go, my predictions for the Royal Rumble... First of all, there have been a lot of rumors, a lot, that Bobby Lashley may actually appear at this show. I cannot confirm or deny this, but Bobby Lashley is not contractually obligated to Impact Wrestling slash TNA slash whatever they're called nowadays. He is not contractually obligated. The talk is, is of bringing him back. So there is a chance that Bobby Lashley may appear. I do not know who Bobby Roode's opponent's going to be. I presume it could be you know, Dolph Ziggler, but... If it is Bobby Lashley, that would be an interesting twist, to say the least. Bobby Roode is, of course, a babyface, so it's curious to see where that goes. Don't really have a prediction for you because I don't know who's going to win that because I don't know who's in it, but that's the talk right now. Gallows and Anderson against The Revival. I'm going to go with Gallows and Anderson to win this one. That's my prediction. I think they're really putting a rocket on the club's you know, rear to give them a push. That's who I think is going to win that match. Then we have a six-man tag uh, with the Cruiserweights that was added because originally it was supposed to be like Enzo Amore defending against Cedric Alexander, but after the uh, you know the the incident with Enzo, which still isn't hasn't been resolved yet, Kalisto, Lince Dorado, and Grand Metalik versus TJP, Jack Gallagher, and Drew Gulak. I'm gonna go with the baby faces here: Kalisto, Lince Dorado, and Grand Metalik to go over. Um, but we'll see what happens. I mean, we'll see what they're gonna do. Um, it should be a fine little match. I mean, if they let him go, they're going to let him go. So, Brock Lesnar versus Braun Strowman versus Kane. Like I said before, there's some kind of stunt that was being planned with Strowman. Don't know if they're going to actually go through with it or not, but the plan is for Brock Lesnar to go over here, probably pinning Kane. Unless they do a complete shift in direction and something has changed in the last couple of days that I don't know about, Brock is still going to wrestle Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. AJ Styles versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn for a handicap match for the WWE title. I'm going to go with AJ Styles. I'm not sure if we're going to have interference from Shano and from Daniel Bryan. Maybe, because they're heavily involved in that storyline. But I'm going to go ahead and pick AJ to win this thing. Because especially if they go with Nakamura win the Rumble. Because then AJ and Nakamura is a natural match for WrestleMania. I mean, these guys had a great, great match in the Tokyo Dome a couple years ago. You should definitely look that up at Wrestle Kingdom if you have not seen that match. Seth Rollins and Jason Jordan against Cesaro and Sheamus. Uh, I think that there's a possibility they could have Cesaro and Sheamus go over here. And sort of do a thing where Seth and Jason Jordan are you know, going to split up, then you have that feud going into February. I don't know if they're going to have a WrestleMania match, but I could see that happening here. And in fact, I'm probably going to say it is going to happen just because I feel like there's only so much you can, you can kind of go with, you know, Seth and Jason Jordan, but they could swerve us. 
But I'm going to go ahead and pick Cesaro and Sheamus to win the titles. And Seth and Jason Jordan are probably going to have some kind of um, split. Maybe not permanently, but they're going to definitely continue the tease of the split on this show. Then we have Chad Gable and Sheldon Benjamin against the Usos um, for the WWE SmackDown tag team titles and two out of three falls could be a good one i'm gonna actually it probably will be because you got four good workers in there uh these guys have chemistry i'm gonna go with the usos to retain the titles even though i think that gable and benjamin winning would be probably a better idea because then you have kind of a fresh team on top i'm gonna go with the usos retaining only because i have a weird feeling they're gonna have something totally different at wrestlemania with them probably on the pre-show because the tag belts almost never make it to the main show not never almost never they did this year though, or last year, but that's because the Hardys came back. So what do you, what can you expect? Anyways, I'm gonna go with the Usos. Don't forget tonight after the Rumble, we're gonna be streaming live right here on World of Geekdom post Royal Rumble show with Brandon Draven. It's a special K Fabulous Lucha Brothers. You'll want to come back for that. We're gonna be talking about the Rumble and the direction going into WrestleMania. So thank you. Hope you all have a great day, and I'll talk to y'all tonight after the Rumble. <laughs>